Hey guys, it's Stephanie. Welcome back to my channel where I talk about all things motherhood. In this video, I'm gonna share how we gave our baby a bath once we brought her home from the hospital. I'll show you all the supplies we use as well as how we've given her baths as she's grown and even today since we don't even have a bathtub in our house. To get started, I'm gonna have all of my supplies nearby because you always wanna be within baby's reach for safety. So I'm gonna have over here a change of clothes. We'll get her into some jammies a new diaper, a couple of baby washcloths, some mild baby bath soap, a baby towel, and then a baby bathtub. And a rubber duck is optional. Baby baths can be a little intimidating at first because little ones, they are so small and so slippery. But I wanna assure you that it will get easier with practice and that it will become a fun experience for both baby and parents in no time. So your first few baths with baby will actually be sponge baths. And all that means is instead of immersing baby in a tub of water, you're actually just kind of cleaning the skin gently with washcloths and water. The reason you're doing that is because you want to protect the umbilical cord, keeping it dry until it is ready to fall off. Every baby's different, of course, but it was around four weeks until the cord fell off for our daughter. For a sponge bath, you can start by laying down a towel on a soft surface. You'll also need a bowl of warm, not hot water. A temperature of around 100 degrees Fahrenheit will ensure a safe temperature for baby. With all of your supplies nearby, begin by cleaning baby's eyes from the inner to outer corner to clean of any discharge. Then you can gently wipe the rest of baby's little face and behind the ears. You'll work your way from top to bottom, paying special attention to creases and folds, especially around the neck since milk likes to collect there. Clean the arms and in between the fingers, as well as the abdomen, making sure to avoid the umbilical cord area in order to keep it dry. You can also clean baby's backside by gently supporting her neck and shoulders, and the diaper area too by cleaning from front to back. And don't forget to clean those leggies and footsies too. If your babe was born with a bit of hair, you can use a mild baby shampoo to massage into her hair. I really like the Cetaphil Baby Body Wash and Shampoo. A little lather will do the trick, and you can rinse baby's hair with a squeeze of your washcloth, making sure to avoid water getting into the eyes. Next, you'll want to dry baby off with a small towel. Once dry, you can put on a fresh diaper and their clothes. You can then use a baby brush or fine comb to brush baby's clean hair. So how often should you bathe baby? And a good rule of thumb is to give your younger baby one to two baths a week and then older babies more frequent bathing as they get more mobile and create more messes. Newborns really don't need frequent bathing because you don't wanna dry out that sensitive newborn skin and they really aren't moving. They're just kind of sitting there, not getting sweaty like us adults. And plus, if if you're keeping up with regular cleaning of milk dribble as well as the diaper area, you can then space your bath times further apart. You can make bath time a fun morning activity or also choose to use it as part of a calming nighttime routine. Every family and baby is going to be different of course, so just practice new routines until you find one that works best for you. Once that umbilical cord falls off then you'll be ready for more of a baby tub. I cannot say enough good things about this baby tub. Tub. It's the Fisher Price 4 in 1 Grow With Me tub, and that's exactly what we needed because it's been with us through every stage of babyhood, and our daughter is just now 17 months. It fit right in our kitchen sink for those younger months and comes with a newborn sling to give your baby the proper support they need. The tub then grows with your child with a seat attachment that stops slipping and sliding as well as allow your baby to sit up supported. Then the actual tub will allow for baby to sit like a big girl on her own. It's getting a little bit small for us, but it is still working. So I'll make sure I'll link this in the description box down below because it has been a very handy bath time tool for us. These days we use the baby tub in our stand up shower since Gianna has gotten bigger. We follow the same steps as before for making sure the water temperature is just right. Gianna, are you ready for bath? Yeah, it's your tub. We clean her face first and then give her body and head a nice lather with soap and rinse on top to get the soap out of her hair. 
Bath toys are always fun at this age too. Be careful and take your time getting baby out of the tub when she is squeaky clean. How is your clean. bath? It's so, so good. Good time at the spa. Me. So clean. <laughs> Hope that was a helpful video on how to give your baby a bath. We are getting ready for bed ourselves. So we'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye. Give <laughs> kiss. Can you give kiss?